I'm Catherine Clark and I'm the artist and founding partner of Muff Architecture Art. I work with Liza Fior, who's an architect, and we made a decision when we founded the practice to work exclusively in public space and to design public space, and so we're interested very much in that relationship between um, the lived experience and the built fabric and how those two things work together to deliver new ways of um, living in a city and new ways of making a city. One of the projects is called Making Space in Dalston, which proposed to um, refigure a neighbourhood. It was simply a matter of investing in what was those green spaces that were already there, allowing people to take ownership of them. So gardening clubs were established and took on the maintenance of those spaces, which in turn saved money for the, for the council, which they could invest um, elsewhere. The biggest project that came out of that, um, that research process was the reclamation of a disused um, strip of railway. And it was reclaimed um, first temporarily as a site for the Barbican Art Gallery um, as part of their um, nature exhibition and it was planted as a cornfield and then we made the proposal that it should remain a community garden and uh, exist, built a mill alongside the cornfield and then subsequent to the exhibition um, the garden was designed with J&L Gibbons and with Exist we then made the community barn which was made with local apprentices and has become now a venue for the community to deliver activities like art classes and the garden is now um, a low maintenance um, a natural garden which will change over time as the plants evolve and again it's managed by the local community so there's a whole program of events and there's a whole maintenance regime that's um, run by local people. I think all of our work begins with um, a really close looking at what's there, like what are your assets and your assets can be the people but it's also the topography, it's also what are the um, underused spaces or the leftover spaces and then investment can be made in them and I think the challenge is how to make space where many different things can happen at the same time and the work always acknowledges that successful spaces are spaces where differences can coexist. Um, a park that we designed has an interesting political constituency. It's in Whitechapel which is in the east end of London and the area has you know, for centuries been a place of immig immigrants coming in, bringing their culture with them. And currently there's a very, um, very large Bangladeshi community. And the design of the park um, was to renovate a park that's very close to Brick Lane, which is called Al Tab Ali Park, and which is a, a commemorative park to a young man who was killed in, the ra in a racially motivated attack in 1976. But the park is also um, the site of the original White Chapel that stood there that gave its name to the area. And it's also the site of um, a monument called the Shahad Munir, which celebrates um, the language martyrs who gave their lives in the formation of the country of Bangladesh, separating from East Pakistan. And so we were really interested in the idea that there's a whole series of overlapping cultural references in the parks. Usually young men come over from Bangladesh for about two or three months of the year and they go to school there and because they're isolated um, from their home environment they congregate together and they meet in the park and there's this you know, a, a, a kind of typical um, situation where if you get a congregation of 30 young men together they're immediately considered to be confrontational to other park users and so it's this idea of how do you make space for congregation that doesn't um, present congregation as a problem and so we made a design for the park that refines um, the multiple histories and makes a very um, 30 meter long bench that's created out of the footprint of the previous churches that stood on the side as though it's lifted out of the earth and then fragments um, of 
uh, carved stone to denote the white chapel that stood on the site and those were made with students of a um, building craft college. The process of making the park um, was also a process of um, social engineering because we did uh, we organised an archaeological dig with the local museum, the Museum of London, and we um, invited the young men from the language schools to come and be interns from the dig, and so they managed the process of, of how people came and saw the dig. And then we invited um, school, uh, secondary school children from a local girls' school, so we brought together the young men and the young women who sort of come from the same sort of ethnic background but never meet because of that sense of the park being a place where young men go and so the young woman would never go there and so it was a, used the dig as a mechanism to bring those two groups together and then when the park was finished the same people come back and use it so it brings together traditional um, craftsmanship with the kind of contemporary use of the park and it creates this platform for everyday life where you bring together um, the Shahad Minir monument, you bring together the um, history of the park as a commemorative park to a racially motivated attack and then you bring together the Christian history of the site and allow those things to exist as a matrix of readings and so that sense of um, culture and history is available um, within the city for us to participate in.